Okay, here is a test on two-dimensional motion. So let's just start with it. Standing on a bridge, it's 12 meters above the water. So I'm gonna draw this, here's my bridge, there's my ball, there's the water, 12 meters. And I throw a rock with a speed of 12 meters per second at an angle of 20 degrees. And how far will it travel horizontally? So let's go ahead and start right here and pick that as my x and y axis. So I have, I'm probably gonna have to do this in, on a new piece of paper. Okay, let's just do this right here. Okay, so I have um, my x motion. Remember, this is projectile motion. In projectile motion, we have constant acceleration in the y direction, constant velocity in the x direction. So in the x direction, I can say this. Uh, also, let me put this. If that is v0 and that's theta, then the initial x velocity is going to be v0 cosine theta. The initial y velocity, vy0, is v0 sine theta, right? Because cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so I solve for the x component, that's what I get. Okay, so for the x motion, I have the following. The initial x position is 0. The final x position, actually I call that 1 and 2, is, we don't know, we're looking for that. Uh, the initial x velocity is uh, 12 cosine of 20. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this number because it's going to be useful. No, I'm going to not. Uh, and then so I can use the definition of average velocity and say v, I can say x final equals x initial plus v x initial times t, assuming t... Uh, time starts at zero. So, but I don't know time. If I knew time, I could find the final position. So now we're going to go to the y motion. So the y motion, I have the initial y is going to be 12. The final y, 2, is zero. The y acceleration is negative g, where g is 9.8 meters per second squared. And then I have the follow, oh, the initial y velocity is going to be v0 sine of theta. So and I am going to get this value. So it's going to be uh, 12 sine of 20 because it's going to make my calculation later easier. So here's my calculator and I'm going to drop. So I'm going to say 12, enter. This is RP in calculator. Uh, now I need to take the sine of 20, so I'm going to say 20 sine, and then multiply that. And I get 4.104. Let's just say 4.1 meters per second. Okay, now I can write down the kinematic equation in the y direction. y2 equals y1 plus vy0t minus 1 half gt squared. Let's put in all our values. So the y2 is 0. This is 12. This is uh, plus 4.1t minus, now I have 9.8 uh, times 1 half. So that's minus 4.9t squared. I'm doing it this way because I'm going to use a quadratic equation. I can't solve for t because I have a constant term, a t term, and a t squared term. So I have to use the quadratic equation. So this is going to be, uh, let's put this, this is a, that's b, and that's c. And so the quadratic equation says that t, and not x in this case, is going to be negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So if I put that in, I get negative b negative 4.1 plus or minus the square root of 4.1 squared. I need more room. Let's put it down here. T equals negative 4.1 plus or minus the square root of 4.1 squared minus 4 times negative 4.9. So I'm going to make that plus times 4.9 times c, which is 12. Those are times. All of that divided by 2a. So all of that divided by negative 9.8. Okay, let's, let's do the plus one first. 
Okay, my battery moved out. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to put in this 4.1. Let's see, what's the negative sign here? Let's see. 4.1, there was a change sign. It's not negative. I haven't used this in a long time. Clear, convert, square, purge, dx. Huh. I had a minus. What if I just do this? Minus four. See, it doesn't do that. There's a minus times. Okay. Mode, plot, user, drop, roll, chain sign. That's it right there. So 4.1 chain sign. Enter. Now I need to do this. 4.1 enter squared. And again, I'm not, I don't normally use calculator. There it is squared. Now I need to say 4, enter, times 4.9, times 12, and I take all of that and I add it to this, so plus, and then I take the square root. And then I add it to this, and then I divide by negative 9.8. And I get negative 1.2 seconds. And of course that's not the answer because I'm not going to get a negative time. So now we're going to go back and do the negative sign. So I should, I know this is a long time. 4.1 change sign, enter 4.1 squared. I'm getting faster. Uh, 4, enter 4.9 times, 12 times, plus square root minus and then I have 9.8 negative divided by and I get 2.04 seconds okay so that's my time I'm going to use and just so you know that negative time this is a parabola and here's one time and the other time goes back in time if it went back in time that's where it would have started so now I can go up here, x2 equals x1, which is 0, plus the initial velocity, 12, cosine of 20, times the time of 2.04. Let's put that in my calculator. I have to be careful my battery, my impromptu battery will fall out. Okay, so I get, uh, I did fall out. Oh no. Let's see, this is... Magnet goes right there. Okay, got it. Okay, so this is going to be 12. Enter. Uh, 20 trig cosine times 2.04 times. And I get 23 meters the end. Okay, now part two says, what is the vector value of the velocity of the rock right before it hits the, the ground? So up here, I actually need to say V2 vector is going to be equal to the vector uh, Vx2, Vy2, 0. I already have Vx2. Vx2 is going to be V0 cosine of 20. It did not change. The x velocity did not change. Now for the y velocity, I can use this. Vy2 is going to be Vy1 plus Ay times delta t. That's the definition of the acceleration, right? Ay is delta V over Vy over delta t. So if I solve that for V2, I get this. So this is going to be V0 sine of 20 minus 9.8 times t, which was 2.04. So uh, let's write this as v2 vector. Let's first do the x component, which I didn't write down. So let's write that down. Uh, 12, enter, 20 cosine times. So that's my x component, 11.28. Now the y component, I'm going to write it down right here, so it's going to be 
uh, 12, let's drop that, 12 enter, 20 sign, times, that's that part, and then I have 9.8 negative, enter, 2.04 times, and then I'm going to add those, and I get a negative y velocity, which makes sense, it's moving in the negative y direction, negative 15.9, let's say, uh, and then zero. There's your answer. And there is another way you could do that. There's multiple ways you could do that, but I, I like that way the best. Okay, there you go.